perfection to it. There is only one way to describe your voice. It is insanely good. <laughs>
uh, 10 cats and one dog. Wow. Yeah. That poor dog. <laughs> well, there's a million dollars up for grabs and headlining Vegas. So, good luck. I hope you like. Yep, they do what they want, those cats. Do you have a cat? I used to have a cat. Welcome to America's Got Talent. How are you? Um, a little bit nervous. That's OK to be nervous. That's totally understandable. What's your name? Courtney. And how old are you? 13. Oh, 13. Wow. Um, what's your favourite subject in school? Music. What kind of music? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're very sweet. And I'm guessing you're going to be singing for us? Yeah. Listen, don't be nervous. I know this is a big stage and there's lots of people here, but you're here for a reason, so go for it and good luck. Thank you.
Bloody hell, Courtney! You like this shy little thing when you first came out, and then you sing and you're like a lion. I mean, genuinely incredible. Howie, what did you think? Oh, my God. You are not from this era. You're from a whole different era. Yes. And I'm a huge Janis Joplin fan, and there's a story, if you ever watch the documentary, Clive Davis, he goes to the Monterey Pop Festival, and he sees this young girl that nobody has ever seen before, that nobody knows. It was the first time Janis Joplin got signed. And that, that changed her life. Do you know that story? Yeah. I'm not Clive Davis. I'm Howie Mandel. And I can't sign you to a record deal. The only thing I can do for you, young lady, is give you... So much. Oh my God. You are absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Can we give her some love? <laughs> what is your name? I'm Mike E. Winfield. Mikey, what is your age? Oh, so I'm like 20s to like 30s and stuff, you know, all right. <laughs> 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 Where are you from? I'm originally from Baltimore. I did adequate time in Sacramento, a lot of love. What do you do? You know what? I tell jokes, you know? How long you been doing this? Over 15 years. So do you even remember the first time you stepped on a stage? Oh my gosh, do I remember? Yeah, it was a Tuesday night open mic. And I get on stage with bright lights and arms crossed, and now they're all staring at me, and I just kind of freeze. So the fact that I came back, that means there's something wrong with me. <laughs> okay, so show us what is wrong with you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. I, uh, I, uh, I love older moms. <laughs> like, I like it when her kids just moved out. <laughs> I can set up my computer in the extra bedroom, you know? <laughs> I got married to an older woman. Uh, I got a stepson. It's cool being a parent to a kid that's close to your age. <laughs> I call him Stepman. <laughs> he drove me here. <laughs> that's my step homeboy, man. And it's a weird dynamic if you see it. He's like 6'2 with chest hair. I don't have any, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Teenage boys can be gross. You know when they're doing inappropriate stuff on their laptop, because when you walk in on them, they'll slam it down really fast and then ask you some irrelevant question. I walk in on Stepman, he's like, who's running for Congress? <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh Stepman. I quit my job at the grocery store. Stepman's like, what are we gonna do for money, Step Mike? I'm like, hey. <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? And I, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. 
and people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was going to rob us because I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you got to act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm Mikey Winfield. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Look at these people. Oh, they shared it all. Oh, look at this. Wow. wow. Thank you so much. I mean, I don't think there's anything else to say. They love you. Oh, I man. love you. Thank you. It's amazing your energy, your smile. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, thank you. Howie. Everything you say is memorable, is authentic. Your thank smile, you. your persona, you're great. You're great. Wow. Wow, I appreciate it. Heidi, you are fantastic. And then there's this face. Thank you. Look at his face. <laughs> that face is just so cute. Why don't you mention his face? Isn't his face so cute? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you have a real star quality about you, he Mike. He does. You really do? Yes. Absolutely. We could never do this show without an audience, particularly with an act like yourself, and this audience loved you. I mean, you could tell that. Thank you, Simon. Thank you all. I appreciate you. And Mike, look, we always say an audition on this show, two minutes literally can change your life. Maybe this is one of those auditions. So I've got a good feeling about you. Thank you. Well, we're going to start voting. Simon. Yes. Oh, yes, it oh. We did it! We did it! Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, we love Mikey. Yeah, that kid's a star. I mean, yeah. I think he's one of my favorite comedians that I have seen in I these three so. seasons. Hi. Wow. Welcome. Very nice to meet you. So who do we have here? We are World Taekwondo Demonstration Team. Wow, OK. And where are you all from? We are from around the world. Yeah. <laughs> but some of them from South Korea, some of them from America. Cool. So tell me, why America's Got Talent? Actually, they, uh, we are invited to perform at the Olympics. Really? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot do it due to COVID. So you could say you chose us over the Olympics? Yes. That's correct. <laughs> I love that. Do you believe that you could win the competition? Yes. OK, <laughs> that's very confident. I like that. No more questions. Two minutes can change your life. Thank Good you. Luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, they look serious. My daughter has a black belt in Taekwondo. She really does? In this, yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Very serious. Exciting. Yeah.
achieve this, it was perfection to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think what you did was one of the most extraordinary things I've seen in all the years I've been on America's Got Talent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we have to go vote. All right. No, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. No. First of all, uh -uh. I got to tell you, I have never, ever seen anything like this in my life. World Taekwondo, this is not about fighting. It's about courage. It's about confidence and respect. And I respect what you guys did out here today like no one else. And you know, you were not able to make it to the Olympics and get a gold medal. But I am going to give you something golden right now!
tickets and go to see that anywhere. For sure. Good evening. Welcome to America's Got Talent. I'm a little afraid now. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And <laughs> you are... You are you. What? <laughs> what do you have a name? Tape. You're taped. You're taped. Um, what are you going to be doing? You don't know. So, what is this? Maybe we'll... T will we talk after? Maybe. Okay, I love a mystery. Go ahead and do what it is you do. I like the fact that we don't know who you are, anything about you or what you're going to do. It was like simple but clever, unique, funny, brilliant. Heidi. At first I thought you were so creepy, but then I really, truly loved it. Mel? Who's going to go home tonight and try that lady in red thing? <laughs> right? I know I am. That was just genius. I agree, and I think your life has changed tonight, and by this time tomorrow, everyone in America, no, no one in America is gonna know your name. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Yes! You forgot your bra. 
You forgot your bra. Your bra. Your bra. What is your name? Grace. Grace, you're a beautiful young lady, you know that? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 12. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to sing? I'm singing in original. Really? Yes. What's it about? It's about me. <laughs> and other people at school behind you supporting you? Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> Stage is yours. Good luck. about surprises and you use the word miracle and I think you are a living beautiful walking miracle your original the people not knowing your name is so right and so wrong because I think the world is gonna know your name I think right now they're gonna know your name because you are going right now. For you, I think you are the next Taylor Swift. Thank you so much. Wow. Howie's golden buzzer. How's it feel? I feel like this is my kind of just daydreaming. I'm getting ready to wake up. Well, this is going to be a long dream because you're going straight through to the live show. You'll see it in the Great personality. Can't believe it. You have confetti in your hair. I do. <laughs> you hear Simon Cowell make a prediction that you're the next Taylor Swift? 
<laughs> Can I get your autograph? <laughs> so you think you've got a star now? I 100% think we've got a star. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, wow. I really do. That is a big the, This wow. girl is special. She is yeah. special. Wow. And I'm now annoyed I didn't press the golden button. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Just pick one. Anyone. Oh, you can see yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you write your name? Okay. Everyone stood on their feet, Howie. Oh my God! By leaps and bounds, is the best sleight of hand close-up magic I have ever Thank seen. Thank you so much. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, this was unbelievable. Right, Howie is the most. Oh my God! You have your first yes, Melby. You have your second yes, brother. And I'm going to give you a third yes. 
I think there were, what, 3,400 people in here? So, I think you've got 3,400 yet. Hello, sir. Woo! Welcome to AGT. Hi. What's your name? Hi. My, my name's Keith Applecary. What do you do for a living? Oh, uh, well, I'm nothing. <laughs> so, how old are you? Uh, 35. 35? Yeah, 1986. Yeah. <laughs> on the dot. <laughs> were you born on January 1st? No, March 3rd, 1986. <laughs> what, are, what are you going to do here tonight? I'm going to do some dancing uh, maneuvers for you guys. Dancing? Yeah. Go ahead, young man. The stage is yours. But I'm not a dancer. That's the thing. I'm not a dancer. You're not a dancer. I just like to dance. Good, good, good. Me we too. like watching people okay. dance. Okay. <laughs> just want to preface. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's part, he's, he's part of my routine. Just You're blowing dance. it. Just dance. Please dance, dance. No, he's dance. <laughs> Show him what you got, Keith. What's your group's name? We are Invitable. And where are you from? Uh, Mumbai, India. Oh. oh wow. What's it like there? Tell us more about your, where you're from. Uh, life in Mumbai, it's like very hard. The life in slum, they don't get proper water and everything, they like... <sighs> Sorry. No, it's okay. okay. If you win America's Got Talent, what do you want to see for the group? Uh, we want the world to know who is we unbeatable. Good luck. Let's see what you got. Please take the mic. <laughs>
darkness my old friend I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping left it seems while I was sleeping and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence and in the naked light I Thousand people, maybe more. People talking without speaking. People hearing without listening. People writing songs that voices never share. No one dares. I'm actually angry about something. What is it? I wish this was the first time I'd ever heard Tom in a weird way. You're like Susan Boyle's grandson. Because <laughs> what you that. do is not what we expect. For me, this is the best performance I've seen all series. Surprising in so many ways. You're only 24 years old, and Simon and Garfunkel are a lot older than that. But you do it so right. It really was. You're really amazing. Tom, this is the song. If you'd have done this, I believe you would have won the show that year. Because that Thank was you. incredible. Thank you. My name is Kenichi Ebina. What is your act? Um, my act is dance-ish performance. Dance-ish? Ish, yes. Okay. 
How did you get into dance-ish kind of performing? Um, I knew only the one step called the Running Man. Right. <laughs> and uh, when I did it, people got loud. And I was like, yeah. And so I was like, oh, I feel good. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. seen anything like it before. You have a control over your body that is unbelievable. Thank you, thank you. Being the youngest judge on the panel, I can say that was off the chain. Thank you. Honey, you're no spring chicken. What are you talking about? Oh, I about? am. Oh, okay. I thought your head had come off your body. It was that convincing. <laughs> We see a lot of guys who come on stage who try to do what you do. They can't do it, and you have a story to tell. Uh, you know, you were doing The Matrix there. That was the whole movie, all in 90 seconds. Awesome. It was magnificent. I could watch you all day. Me too. Thank you. Right? Yes. How? I'm telling you, that is the best dance we have seen in Chicago. It's the best dance I've seen in a long time. Thank you. You told a great story. Yes. You were wonderful. What's your name? Okay, let me try again. Well, welcome to America's Got Talent anyway. People died in a building, building blaze. blaze. Suicide victim to blame. Oh my gosh. Yes. Who caused the fire? Choose a name. I 
I said, Bob. Suicide victim to blame. Oh my God. This is Bob. Bob. My hands are shaking. And what's under the Polaroid? Don't even ask. I just guessed a random name. I'm turning this over. Look. Oh my God! Bob is behind me. Look at that. That is. You, you should go away. Go away now. That's crazy. The Olati dogs. What wow. kind of dogs are they? These ones are Labradoodles. Wow, and so you do this for a living? Yes. Show us your wares. Let's see it. Okay, thank you. Sisters just killed it. I've never seen dogs do backflips. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. This is the most amazing, best animal act I have ever seen in here. Thank you. It's this guy right here, man. Oh my goodness me, it's the best. I mean, just amazing. I don't know how you train these dogs. It's all him, actually. He's, he puts dada. a lot of effort into it, yeah. So. Where do you get your dogs from? Rescues? Most of them are rescues, yeah. Oh. Wow. And, uh...
amazing. Thank I, you very much. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of bringing you guys to my house. My dog does nothing. Let's go, man. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I tell the dog, come to this room, come to that. I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking for backflips. I just want the dog to follow me. And won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't let any animal act through, hardly any, because they've been awful. I mean, every nudnik who has a pet comes out on my stage. You guys are probably going to get to be on my stage for a very long time. Thank you very much. Kiss me. Come back. All right, let's vote. I'd just like to say thank you so much for being on my stage tonight. And I would, stage. Like, I would like to say a yes from me. Thank you. Welcome to my stage. And if it's up to me, you're going on to my next stage in Vegas. Which is a yes. Two yeses. Gentlemen, the truth is, I'm the judge America listens to. <laughs> Whose stage is this? I am going to see you in Vegas. It's a yes for you. Thank you so much. Say to you, don't let just any animal act through. Howard, not everything's a lesson. Howie, let me teach. You gotta wait. Get off my one. desk. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, ever seen anything like that in my life. Oh no, a ventriloquist. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Okay, <laughs> what is your name, sir? My name is Terry Fader. I'm Emma Taylor. This is Emma Taylor. I'm a singer. Yeah, she's a singer. She does impressions of female singers. Oh. Well, show us what you got, man. All right. Hit it. What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, Emma, do you know who that is? Yeah. You're going to do an impression of her? Yeah. All right. Emma Taylor. Can you throw one more at us, a cappella? Yeah, I can. Okay. Who, who you want to do? Ashley Simpson. Oh! Right. Ashley Simpson! All right. Okay. All right. Do, do an Ashley Simpson. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I apologize for that. I apologize, Ashley. I thought your act was absolutely brilliant. Thank you. And I... I <laughs> but... To get to a million dollars, you're gonna knock us out. But you, you know, I think you're on you're on your way. Anyway, Thank that's you. just my opinion. Thank Pierce, you. what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I have genuinely never seen a ventriloquist do uh, impressions of singers ever. So I thought that was quite amazing, actually, Thank to you. see that. Thank you. Terry, I have to tell you real up straight. When you came in, I thought, oh lordy lord, not again. Yeah. But you are quite brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. You really are. Okay, should we vote? Yes from me. Yes from me. Yes from me. Okay. Yes, you did. Yeah. Congratulations. She, they you. loved you. My name is Dustin's Dojo, and I'm a trained black belt, and I learned to be a black belt at Roger Baker's Taekwondo and Pizza, Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> this is my friend Terry, and I am his sensei. <laughs> Okay, well, um... <laughs> Who's 
snorting down there? Yes, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Why are you always turning around? You never know where there's going to be an attacker, so you always have to be on guard. <laughs> are you worried that you're going to get attacked here? Yeah. In Hollywood, there's many attackers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you guys are good. <laughs> Oh, are you going to do a demonstration? Yeah, today we're going to do three different things. First, I'm going to break wood, and Terry's going to hold it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then we're going to break the world record for most full extension punches thrown in 60 seconds. And then finally, I'm going to throw a karate combo, and when I least expect it, Terry's going to throw salt into my eyes, and I'm going to fight through the pain. <laughs> If you don't get it. As you can see, I handled that pretty well. <laughs> Thank you for watching this demonstration of Dr. Nostalgia. something that is the most I have laughed. Me too. Why don't I think that's funny? I don't think this is funny one bit. Oh, come on. I, I'm only uh, saying this for the benefit of, of, of my fellow judges who hit the X. These two guys are comedians. They're in the tradition of yeah. the Three Stooges. Yes. Yeah. What they've done here is lampooned to the T everything that goes on in a martial <laughs> arts studio. Where is Terry going, sir? Terry was looking for an attacker. That's what I mean. I love to laugh. I get that it's meant to be comedy. I get that it's meant to be really funny. Hard. To yeah. me, it wasn't funny. To me, it was annoying. You actually remind me. Wow. Wow. I don't get this. You remind me of one of these boys that one of my sons brings home. Yes. Know, like a play date. You know, the kind that I don't want to invite back to the house. If. Dustin, if you are lucky enough to move forward, do you have plans for the next round? Yes, we have very many other skills and abilities, and if we go through to the next round, all of your dreams will come true. Let's go. Dustin, I think what you do is amazingly funny. I love you. I'm giving you a yes. I loved it as well. And, and I'm giving you a big, enthusiastic yes. Heidi? And you both would have said no to the market. It's not my sense of humor at all. For me, it's a big no. Well, I beg you. I beg no, you. No, I mean, I just, I didn't get it and I didn't find it funny. And I like to laugh and that wasn't funny to me, so it's a no. I am sorry, but that means that you didn't get through. Howard, where are you going? So you have two notes. You know, you know, I've got the golden buzzer here.
golden buzzer once per season, and he has used it for Dustin's dojo. I've done it for you. Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm so good. And who are you, please? Oh, my name is Bunta from dance team GB Unity. Okay. <laughs> Whereabouts do you live? Niigata in Japan. <laughs> so you've flown all the way just to perform on our show? So this, yes. I've always wanted to go to Japan. Same. Okay, so why did you enter the show? Japanese is okay? Yes. Yes. <laughs> When we saw Myers, who's a champion of AGT last year, we thought we have to get on a stage of AGT. I think the Myers, in my opinion, I think are the best dance act we've ever, ever had. Dance. Yes, I think so too. I think so too. Are you better? Please, looking forward to our act. Okay. You're not giving anything away, are you? <laughs> no more questions. <laughs> I promise you. Sorry. Now we just want to see your act, please. Thank you so much.
dance category this year on season 18 is off the charts, but you took it to another level. The emotion that comes out of your dancing, it's, it's inspirational. You added everything, it was so wonderful. And I love the speed and the dexterity and the moves that you had. I would love to see a show at an hour of you in Las Vegas. <laughs> I loved it because it was unexpected. For me, the music was unexpected. I loved the changes of the outfits. It was very dynamic and super good. Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, I was getting goosebumps. <laughs> My heart was like beating. It was the best dancing I've ever seen in my life. Ever, ever. I would say it was the Perfect, AGT audition. Thank you so much. Thank you. When I saw this audition, I wasn't thinking just about dance. It was so powerful, so original, so incredible, yeah. and amazing. <laughs> yes! Thank you so much. I think right now, we're all thinking the same thing. Yes. Yeah. Right? Terry. Yeah. We all loved you so much that we collectively would like to give you something special. are going to make this season very, very special. You're going to see Hi. 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 What's your name? I'm Christina Ray. Hi, Christina Ray. Where are you from? I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I am a body sculptor. What, what do you mean? You make so, statues? I do laser lipo and I melt people's fat. <laughs> you don't need that. Oh, trust me. <laughs> and uh, who are you here with today? My son, Jeremiah. We just was that him. your was son? Yeah. Oh, no, he was just here. Come here, baby. Put him up. What, what, why AGT? Why did you come to AGT? I need this to change my life. And as you can see, I'm a single mom, and I was living in my vehicle while pregnant. Wait, and wait, wait, homeless? You're yes. living in your car? Oh, I was God. before I gave birth to my son. And um, this will change my life by putting us in a home, my own home, not just in family situations. And I want him to have his own room. like. I want us to live in our own home, not a house. Yeah. <laughs> well, so do we. We want that for you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to be singing? Yes. I want you to think of this building. Yes, sir. Right now, in that stage, as your house. Yes. And we are your family. This is a lovely house. Isn't this great? <laughs> Entertain us. Oh, bye. Bye. What? What? Start? Stop? I know. He likes I'm the gonna... stage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh. 
Okay. Christina, can I hear your second song as well, please? Oh. Would you be okay with that? Yeah. Good. Do you want some water before you start? I'm gonna let this adrenaline take me. Good, good answer. Christina, I want you to imagine that you've just done the concert and this is the encore moment. Okay. to this brand new house, you blew the roof off this Simon, Christina, there is only one way to describe your voice. It is insanely good. <laughs> Thank you. Look. Thank you so much. There is absolutely no point making shows like this unless we find people like you. I agree. So Heidi, what do you think? I think you are absolutely out of this world. My heart is racing for you right now. It really is. Are you ready for this right now? I'm ready. Are you ready for this
lady to come out who was really singing that. That was your voice? Yep, that was me. Howie, that is incredible. you know what? We were going to do this show, and we all said at the beginning, it's kind of scary, and all we want to do is find that one moment, that one gem, that one star from a place we've never looked before in America's Got Talent, and you know what? This is the moment. You're the star. <laughs> Jackie, you're amazing. <laughs> wow. Here's... Are you sure you're not 30? Yeah. You're not just very small, right? You are 10 years old. Ten years old. Exactly. That is, I'm going to tell you, that is one of the most extraordinary performances I've ever seen on America's Got Talent. You've got it all. You've got, you've got the whole thing. You've got a lovely smile, beautiful dress, and then you start to sing, and everyone in this audience probably felt the way that I did. We all felt goosebumps. That moment when you think, I know, I know what's going to happen here. We're going to wake up tomorrow and America is going to be going crazy for a little girl who just sang like an angel. Absolutely incredible performance. Sharon. Yeah, Jackie, I, when you first started to sing, I thought, is this for real? I can't believe that from this tiny body, this huge, mature voice that you have. It it's, is absolutely amazing. I, I can't believe it. And I've never seen anything like it. And it, that's how, why... How do you feel, Jackie? I feel so amazed and so happy that I feel like I'm just about to burst in tears. Oh. oh. <laughs> but tears of happiness. I, it's such a delight for us that you were on the show tonight. Thank you for being here, really. This looks interesting. Who are you? Do you not want to talk? How, how old are you? <laughs> are you excited? Do you think that you're hot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck. Good luck. What is it, magic? It's an apple. Oh.
you are. What's your name? My name's Jane. When I sing, I go by Nightbird. Oh, that's nice. Nightbird? That's right. Uh, did you sing, do you sing for a living? Um, not, not recently. Where are you from? I'm from Zanesville, Ohio. Okay. How old are you? I'm 30. 30 years old. And the dream is to be a singer. What are you going to be singing for us tonight? I'm singing an original song called It's Okay. It's Okay. Yeah. It is. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What is It's Okay about? Uh, it's Okay is the story of the last year of my life. All right. And who are you here with? I'm here by myself. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Um, I have not been working for quite a few years. I've been dealing with cancer. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Can, can I ask you a question? How are you now? Uh, last time I checked, I had some cancer in my lungs, my spine, and my liver. Wow. So you're not okay? Uh, well, not in every way, no. You got a beautiful smile and a beautiful glow, mm -hmm. and nobody would know. Thank you. It's important that uh, everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that yes. happen to me. Yes. Yes. All right. Sing for us. Good luck. Nightbird. Change my mind. I thought that all my problems they would stay behind. I was a stick of dynamite, and it just was a matter of time, yeah.
hundred pages, but I burned them all. Yeah, I burned them all. I blow through yellow lights and don't look back at all. I don't look back at all. Loading all oh my now I can't hide. Said I knew what I wanted, but I guess I lied. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you're lost, we're all a little lost, and it's all right. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you're lost, we're all a little lost, and it's all right. Oh, it's all. You know, it's funny because singers come on, and and I and I think about authenticity. You know, when you feel it, when it moves you, that felt like the most authentic thing I have heard this season. That was surprising. To you. It was powerful. It was heartfelt, and I think you're amazing. You gave me chills. I mean, your voice is so beautiful to listen to. It was beautiful all the way around. Your voice is stunning. Mm -hmm. It is. Absolutely stunning. And I, I totally agree with what Howie said, you know, about authenticity. There was something about that song after the way you just almost casually told us what you're going through and, oh, you know. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Um, there are, however, there have been some great singers this year. Um, and I'm not going to give you a yes. I'm going to give you something else. Rough day at the office. <laughs> I know the feeling. What's your name? My name is Andrew DeLeon. Andrew, you've got an unusual look, but is this how you walk around all day? Yes. Kind of a goth look you would describe this as? Uh, yes. I, I assume you're a singer? Yes. Well, listen, why don't you do your thing? Okay. Good luck. Thank you.
Carey. What, what's going through your mind? Can you share it with us? Um, I'm just so used to being rejected, and I'm not really good at anything, so this is amazing. Feels good. And you know, I, I sensed right before you sang, you were feeling very nervous. You ever perform in front of a big crowd like this? I've never performed in front of anybody. No kidding. This is your first time. I mean, literally, did, 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 you must have taken voice training or, or something. No? Not at all. Self-taught. You, and, and you would practice this, what, in your room? And yet you got up here and blew the roof off the joint. Good for you. Thank you. Andrew, Andrew, what do your parents think of you, of your voice? Um, they've never heard me sing either. Are they, they here? Haven't? They are here. Where are they? They're right up there. be so proud of you and please don't say that you're not good at anything because you've got an amazing voice and you are an individual Howie, you know you've been hiding in your room all these years but you never you never let the world see who you are or what you are and it's not that you're good at anything you are great <laughs> I'll be the first one to vote yes. Big time. Sharon. Yeah, Andrew, I'm definitely in love with you now. I'm going to say yes. And Howie? Mom, Dad, how proud are you of your son? Very proud. Very proud. Very proud. Well, you know something? We all love your boy now. That's three yeses. You're going to Vegas. Thank you. Unexpected, and uh, I'm just shocked. It's overwhelming. It's like Marilyn Manson does an aria. Yeah, he's a surprise. It's pretty cool. It was really very cool. cool. Yeah, I like it. Hi, Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent in 2014. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us, how old were you when you won? I was seven years old. You were seven years oh, old. Baby. So you are now 13. And 13, yes. You are 13. <laughs> yeah. I've waited 10 years to sing for Simon, and I'm oh. finally. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. So wow. us three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, tonight? No, we don't. <laughs> what, is it, what is it about Simon? He's just amazing, and he's a legend. <laughs> he is. He is a legend. Yeah, he is. Well, Angelina, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Can you just come up to the mic like you're going to be? Yeah.
A star, and as they would say in Norway, Jai Elskadai. Oh, thank you. I love you too. And I think this moment, this time on stage, this song, this performance is going to change your life and your career forever. I believe that. Everything about tonight felt like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. Seriously, this was an amazing performance. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. Oh, it talks. <laughs> Is it a bunny? Yes. Oh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> okay. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to sing? Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm guessing is exactly like you, very charming and adorable. You made my heart melt. You were brilliant. <laughs> I'm trying to describe how amazing it was. <gasps> you know what? And if you have a
God. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, but you wasn't expecting that, was you? Yeah. Come here. Oh. Well done. Well, Darcy, you are going straight to the live show. Hello. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What's your name? I'm Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Cody. How old are you? I am 22 years old. Yeah. Who are you, miss? Who are you? I'm mom. Oh, I'm hi, Tina mom. Lee. Hi, hi Tina. Hi, How are you? So, what are you gonna do here for us today? I'm gonna sing a song for you on the piano. I love it. <laughs> Tina, tell us a little bit about Cody. Cody is blind and autistic. Oh. Wow. We found out that he loved music really early on. He listened and his eyes just went huge. And he started singing. And that's when I just, I was in tears, because that's when I realized, oh my gosh, he's an entertainer. So, yeah. through music and performing, he was able to withstand living in this world. Because when you're autistic, it's really hard mm -hmm. to do what everybody else does. It actually has saved his life playing music. Wow. Oh, oh that's awesome. Well, we'd love to hear you. Go for it. You ready? I'm ready. in my life and time I sung a lot of songs and I made some bad rhymes I've acted on my life in stages 10,000 people watching yeah we're alone now and I'm singing the song
Well, first of all, I will tell you that all four judges and everybody in this room were up on their feet. I will tell you that. So you gotta know that. <laughs> you were wonderful. Not only do we feel the authenticity of what you do, but you're a great inspiration and a great talent. And it was amazing. Thank you so much, Julia. I know um, everybody needs a voice and an expression, and I really feel your your heart, your passion, your voice blew all of us away. So I just want to say that I heard you and I felt you, and that was beautiful. Thank you, Simon. Listen, what just happened there was extraordinary. I mean, really extraordinary. Uh, I don't know what it's like to live in Cody's world. All I can tell is, is that you obviously have an amazing relationship, the two of you. And your voice is absolutely fantastic. You have a really beautiful tone. And thank you so much for trusting us on this show. I'm gonna remember this moment for the rest of my life. Thank you. I'm a new judge this season, and I'm also a new mom this year. And congratulations. It's the toughest job I've ever had and the most rewarding job I've ever had. You just want to give your kids the moon, the stars, and the rainbows. And tonight, I'm gonna give you something special. On every mountain, and swim every ocean. Cause I need you to see you are the One thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know. Oh, good oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. You? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I like your baby. The time for uh, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. <laughs> I would like. It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, no, we're not. We're not after the watershed. I would like to see David inside his house. Oh, he's never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see. His
Actually, the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilet. Can't live without them. Can't live in them either. Uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud, and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead, uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there. <laughs> this is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's that that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey y'all, it's Molly Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I was on a show called America's Got Talent. That's why I know you, Simon. Yeah, I was on America's Got Talent. And uh, who's seen that? Who's seen America's Got Talent? Who's seen me on America's Got Talent? You seen me? You seen me? Okay. Who voted for me, though? Who vo uh, of course you did in London. I lost to a 12-year-old ventriloquist. She didn't open her mouth the whole time. You never know what it feels like losing a million dollars to somebody that still has chores. You'll never know. People ask me all the time, they're like, you still talk to Darcy? I'm like, she's 14, bruh, no. I'm a grown man, what am I gonna do? Hey, Darcy, how was school? Like, no, man. <laughs> Plus, she beat me, so I hate her. Why would I talk to someone I hate? <laughs> Don't hate Darcy, she's an angel. So is the devil, okay? Now. Understand, in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing to this house party like, Y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17 year old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with a Doritos Locos taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It is just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Hello, I'm Natalie Cassidy. And today, we're going to be health working out. So everyone put your hands out in front of you, spread your legs, and do some squats. <laughs> Lie down, the baby, on Martin Fowler's sofa. Isn't that right? Dog Cotton would be proud, wouldn't she? <laughs> Ooh, it's so nice to be here on my new show. And today's guest is absolutely fantastic. You know what? I'm going to meet her. Hello. Oh, thanks for having me shine the rain. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm really nervous. Oh. And then, oh, I was on the, uh, going out the jungle recently. Oh, my God. I mean, I saw those ones. And I was like, whoa. And then, then I saw even more ones. And I was like, whoa. And then they tried to make me eat the ones. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. And, I was like, and then I was being sick everywhere. And I, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're ringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. 
this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, babe. I'm like, the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. Why were people so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent? Amanda Holden's been on it for years. Savage. It was really fun meeting Ant and Deck backstage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. I feel like we should get to know each other a bit closer. Please. Yes. Yeah. No oh. 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 <laughs> My name is uh, Vigo. You want to try to? No. Oh. Yes. yes. <laughs> my name is. My name is. My name is Vigo. My name is. My name is Vigo. <laughs> you are Bruno, the new guy. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> the new guy. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me. Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. People tell me I don't look like a Nabil Abdul Rashid. Apparently, I look more like a Tyrone. <laughs> or a Marlon, or maybe even a Babatunde, you know, whatever. <laughs> I turned up to a show recently, they wouldn't let me in. I turned up to the group, like, excuse me, you can't be here. This green room is for a Nabil Abdul Shekhabalikhab. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's Abdul Rashid. Yes, that's what I said, Abdul Shishkabab. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't mean to offend you, but has anyone ever told you that your name sounds a bit hmm? <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> Muslim. I said, yes, that's because I am a Muslim. He said, okay, well, at least tell me what the name means. I said, the name Nabil Abdul Rashid basically means that my phone calls are monitored. Now... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with 100 kids. <laughs> oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's time to face the mute, uh, the impressions. Actually, doing the, uh, the X Factor guy, all you have to do is right at the very end, roar like a lion. Simon Carl! <laughs> Thank you, and... Here, we can witness a whole plethora of strange and fascinating creatures. That's good. Nice. <laughs> yes! The obligatory wild pack of street dancers and the balding, middle-aged car enthusiast. <laughs> Look at the body on this. <laughs> I love the sexy curves, the exquisite contours, but most importantly, the two big airbags. My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up. Where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. <laughs> what are the three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility. Uh, yes, uh, charm. Humble. Good looks. Humility. Generous. Uh, I like people. I wear great clothes. I'm funny. <laughs> Um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. Um, great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> I know you do! Let's, straight let's in there. replay that clip again. <laughs> we have evidence, ladies and gentlemen. I like girls, I like guys. Do you? <laughs> you finally said it. And you like animals as well? We're not going there. David. <laughs> I'm not from California. But I look like I am. <laughs> Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, no, Everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> I might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. 
Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, God! Have you ever been to a bank, right? Because I'm not really happy with the customer services that we get at banks nowadays, right? Have you ever gone into a bank? You've seen four available windows. Four! But there's only one person working. Yes. <laughs> then you get the woman that works there who walks past the queue and says, don't worry, she won't be long. Go and help her! <laughs> Why are you out here? You get to the cashier because it's your turn, right? They've now given the cashiers microphones, yeah? So everybody can hear your financial situation. <laughs> I'm right here, I can hear you, right? And I'm already embarrassed about the amount that I need. So I was discreet, right? I was like, can I get one pound 50, please? <laughs> That weren't enough of her. She had to talk into the mic and get into my business. Sorry, sir, you need a pound to keep the account open? <laughs> I'm like, why are you shouting? <laughs> but I told you, I needed the rest of what was in my account. So I said to her, please, can I get that 50 pence? <laughs> she said to me, how'd you want that? I was like, in silence. <laughs> it was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aww. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. <laughs> hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> When I realized I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. <laughs> I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. <laughs> I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as the next train to arrive on platform <laughs> four is the 1252 <laughs> service to London <laughs> King's Cross. <laughs> and from my time at the post office, please go to cashier number eight. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. That is so true. It defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Death to us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. <laughs> if, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> That's Hi, Simon. How are you? Um, you are my family's favorite judge, believe it or not. I do believe um, it. But if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favorite is you and why? Oh. Well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Oh, in America? In America, right? yeah. Uh, no, they are. I don't mean that disrespectfully. They just you are. don't mean that disrespectfully? No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> <laughs> She's sick as pig shit. <laughs> Now he, now he can't be sacked, he'll just say anything he wants. He's like, See, as I said, he'll be out of control now. <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> My 
Jamaican. Jamaican mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord of mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> you know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra, and baby panties, and wear you on a scale, and for cattle, on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> The first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like so nervous and so excited. <laughs> it's like being on the X Factor all over again. <laughs> oh my God. I just love being a celebrity. <laughs> When my agent said I was doing an advert for Iceland, I rushed out to get a woolly hat, a woolly coat, and a passport. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, honeys. I'm Hundred Saint, definitely. You'll come to Ivy Charles Salon in Essex. I love Essex. I work in Essex. I live in Essex. It's all about Essex. <laughs> I can spell Essex, I think. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, well, there's only one pricey. You do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? Yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> what? Do it. Yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay, all right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap, it's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot, <clears throat> come on! <laughs> All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. <laughs> <laughs>